Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Ree project. Gotta watch where I'm going. We are back in the brook, halfway through October, trying to get some crayfish, make some lovely wild crayfish. Ravioli, I got my mate who's just upstream rich, checking the traps, and I gotta get out of here. It's cold. I'm here with me mate Rich. We are gonna be making some crayfish ravioli. Now, I know it doesn't look a lot in there, but a lot goes a long way, doesn't it, Rich? It By the time we've knocked up a little bit of fresh pasta. But yeah, it's getting a little bit cooler now. It's quite hardcore in this stream today, isn't it? Bloody <laughs> And it just. So, you know, as the water temperature drops, these will disappear a bit more. So I'm just gonna put the pot back in, because you never know. And then we're gonna go home and prepare crayfish pasta from scratch. And I'm telling you, it's brass monkeys. Let's see if I can get that in there without the current taking it behind that rock. It might be too strong. Yeah, still a little bit of current in this. But that's crayfishing for you. So, two traps out. We've got a few, we've got enough to make a video. But it's weird, you know, we've had some rain here the last two days and you've seen pictures of it down here. It's a beautiful oasis. It's just looking a little tired now and a little dirty. But I suppose it is nearly winter. You can't have it all. Do you know what I'm saying? Rich has hightailed it over to the car. Wave, Rich. Time for a brew, ain't it, dude? Like we said earlier, there ain't a million is there, Rich, but it, you'll be surprised how far these will go when we've added... Great flavour. Yeah, a few bits and bobs. Let's pimp them up a bit. Pimp, pimp my cray. <laughs> right, let's have a brew and we'll go home. That Reggie's making big for food. <laughs> They some angry, angry creatures. Cray by name, cray by, by nature. nature. Right then, we're back home. We've got our haul of crayfish, not the biggest, but we are making a crayfish ravioli. Absolutely delicious. It seems a lot of ingredients and it is just a little bit more work, but really it's simplicity itself. So I've just got these chilling out here. It's almost the departure lounge at the airport. I got the pan on, ready for him to have a bath. In the meantime, Rich is over here weighing out all the ingredients ready to make the pasta. Okay then, a very, very simple pasta dough. In here we have 80 grams of pasta flour, double zero, and 20 grams of semolina. And all it takes is, what we got there mate? One egg, isn't it? One egg. Oh, a bit of, bit of salt. One egg and a bit of salt. So, in the processor, and away we go. So we've took that out of the pasta, then it boiled up. All we're gonna do is just a very gentle knead wrap it in cling film and let it rest in the fridge. Feeling all right, mate, that? Fine. Awesome. Nicely balled, good work, in some cling film and in the fridge on chill for a minimum of, what do you reckon? Half an hour. Half an hour. Perfect. So these crayfish have been purged. Hot, hot water, in they go, lid on. Now the reason I only put a few in there with quite a lot of water is I don't want to take the temperature out of the water. I want these to cook pretty much as soon as they hit it. I know you can put them in and sometimes the temperature will drop, bring them back up to the boil. But I prefer to do them continuously. So we'll just give those three or four minutes. Just have a quick check on these. 
I never get tired of seeing that. How gorgeous they look. A million miles away from those creepy crawlies in the stream. Lid on, get that back up boiling again. Doesn't take very long. In, lid on. He is not a happy bunny. Now when we talk about aggression, you can see, can't you? Absolutely. I mean, that's up for anything. Off. Yeah, and if he was six foot tall, they would take over the world, you know? I've said before, he could, if he could get a big bat now and hit me round the head, he would. But, yeah, look at it. Prehistoric. Beautiful. Ugly beautiful. Exit stage right. I think that was the one that didn't want to die, you know. He was angry, angry, angry. But he won't go to waste. That's hot. <laughs> So while we're waiting for our pasta to do its thing, these are the main ingredients for our ravioli filling. Obviously we got our beautiful crayfish, which I'm gonna take the tails out and the claw meat. But first of all, we're gonna make a base for this beautiful ravioli. We're gonna sweat down some mushrooms. We've got about what, 150 grams, 200 yeah. grams there. How many shallots do we use, mate? Just the one. One shallot finely diced, and we've got one clove of garlic We've got some fresh thyme of course we're going to mix it all together with a bit of cream cheese but first of all we start the veg so into some nice foaming butter and a little bit of oil i'm going to chuck in our shrooms give it a fettle and obviously we want to cook these down until all the moisture's come out of them a bit of shroom action so we've added our shallots and our garlic and sweated it down just need to put our thyme in. Get it in there, Rich. Don't know how we do it. No. Take the heat off that now and just let that cool down and get on preparing these crayfish. So as we're only using the tails and the claw meat off the decent sized ones, I'm just gonna go along and do the deed. Now obviously these Shells won't be wasted. You can make a crayfish bisque or a stock. Kill that for a claw. Mm. Hey? Mm. Decent size, isn't it? Mm. So quickly just extracting this tail meat then by clicking just down on the shell. Give it a peel. Give it a push. And they will. He says, just come out like that, all the way down. As if you were doing a lobster, I suppose. And then just push that tail bit and it comes out like that. So, just crack in the claws as you would a lobster. But obviously these then is hard as a lobster. And we do want to try and get this all out in one piece. And it really is worth doing it with these, you know, because the claws are so big. Look at that. Perfect. Right. Just another seven to do. So we've got our tails. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. There's still just a little bit of funk in the end. So I just get the tip of my knife and just pull it out and square it up. They're only using that good bit of tail. I don't know if you can catch it on there, just under the meat, just the tip and just pull. And it's just getting rid of all that funk. Okay then, so we got our little bowl of tails and our little bowl of claw meat. What we need to do now is dice this 
very small. We could put it in a blender and blitz it and make a mousse style thing, couldn't we? But I like the integrity and the rusticness of the chunks of crayfish meat. Yeah, so that is the next stage on this build. Okay then, so the building blocks for this dish, obviously are sweated down shallots, garlic and mushroom, nicely cooled. We got our cream cheese, obviously our claw meat and our tail meat. Well, we definitely want all the cray in, definitely. So we get that in. What's we got here? I know there's about 100 gram of cream cheese. And you'll be surprised how far this goes. Now, I just want to play this bit by ear. So we just give it like a couple of tablespoons of mushes and see where we go from there. Just nice and gentle. Give it a spin. I want to put a bit of parsley in, Rich. There, mate, chopped. You can always chop a bit more. Adds a nice bit of colour. A bit of fresh herbage is always the way forward. Now, like I said, it doesn't look a lot, but when you think you're not even half a teaspoon, it goes a long, long way, innit? Those crays, which how many was there? Not even a dozen was there. Turns into. Come on, try a bit, mate. Mm. Mm. So, a little twist of pepper. Go for it, mate. And that is pretty much it. So, we're going to get that on chill again. Then, we're going to sort out our roll out our pasta, cut our discs, get it in, and we're nearly there. Mmm. -hmm. Lovely. So, it's just a case of rolling it out nice and wafer thin. So not a lot, just not even half a teaspoon, I suppose. Like so when I say a little goes a long way, we ain't kidding. So just some beaten egg yolk, just paint round. So I'm just pinching these together, making sure the air's out as well. And obviously we got our pasta glue, our egg yolk. And then give it a bit of jiggery pokery. So not only does this look a bit posher, but it ensures a good seal but you never know until it goes in the pot. But that is what we're looking at, times 12. <laughs> so that is what they want to be looking like. Now we've just got to do the rest. But these will go on chill, ready to be cooked. So they have been chilling in the fridge. We've got our butter slowly melting in the pan. They do look lovely, don't they? Mm -hmm. Hope they don't open up. So I don't want too violent to boil. Obviously, 
the one I'm splitting open either, so. Minutes, if oh, that. Well, two to three minutes. So we got a classic sage butter there. So straight out of here, just a little drain. Get them in, do them in little batches. I just put these on a plate, slide them on a plate so they don't overcook. Well, we give that a shifty around. Do you want a spot of water in there? Just a tad. Lovely, lovely. That sage butter it's took on the colour of that sage as well. Nice twist of black pepper. Just like that. Do you reckon, mate? Looking good. Should we tuck in? Mm. Well, I can't wait. I'm going to tuck in. Oh, look. Oh. Mm. Mm. So good, mate. Come on, some of Great. Lovely. Mmm. Filling's gorgeous, isn't it? Mmm. So that's what it looks like inside. Is it picking that up on there? Yes, focus. Look at that. The crayfish, the mushrooms. And it tastes absolutely amazing. Mm. Well, there you go, my dear friends. Another episode of the Scott Reed Project. True field to fork. And what can we say about that, Rich? I mean, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely. The filling is just unbelievable. From those wretched creatures down in the house. <laughs> down in the brook that they want to fight you and they turn into something like that truly truly amazing right so just before I go then you know the drill check me out on my social media Facebook Twitter Instagram at Scott Reed Project also if you want to share the love check out my Patreon page like this video also if you haven't already subscribe and hit that bell if not I'm sending the boys round. So until next time, my friends, take care. Say goodbye, Rich. Bye-bye. Exit stage right. <laughs>